who the fuck could this be? Who's there? This your boy Atlantic City. Got me a Pepsi. Feeling like a big shot. And this time we're taking a look at Mike Warricker. So I guess there's only one thing left to do. We're just gonna have to dive in and see what Mike talking about. Our avalanche, that's our 12:30. Can I rape you anally? That's Mine's him. 29 years old. <clears throat> Can I rape you anally? Rolling everything, Georgie. Did it take you long? If that's not the best screen name out of every predator, I don't know what the fuck is. Look, before you before you before we even get any further into the video, put your favorite screen name in the comments. Is can I rape you anally top ten? Is it top five? I mean it's gotta be top five if it's not if it's if it's not your fucking favorite, it's gotta be top five. Come on. Let's proceed. Awesome, awesome. Can you get me a drink, please? Did you remember the handcuffs? We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> nah, this ain't the... Is this the one? This, is this, ain't, this ain't the one I was watching. I was watching a different one. What the hell went wrong? What are you doing here? Hanging out. Hanging out? Yes. Yeah. How old was this person you were talking to? She said she was 13, but... She said she was 13. And how old are you? Can you get me a drink, please? Did you remember the handcuffs? We have a lot to talk about. Why don't you have a seat? He's not gonna forget the handcuffs. This is punch, right? Yeah. yeah. What are you doing here? Hanging out. Hanging out. Yes. And how old was this person you were talking to? She said she was 13, but... She said she was 13. And yeah, how old are you? I'm 29. 29. Yeah. And Can I minutes. rape you anally? How do you come up with that? A uh, guy to guy thing here, okay? Guy to guy. Yeah. Uh, or like we all have our fetishes, okay? <laughs> Can I ask you a blanked up question? Do you have a rape fetish? And were you ever raped? No, no to both. Uh, you say, I like rape. Uh, what kind of a thing is that to say? To a 13 year old kid. Well, she wasn't 13, was she? She said she was. Well, and I can say I'm, you know, we're at 12. You say, no, I'm not a rapist. Uh, Laugh out loud. I just like it. <coughs> I never actually do it unless the chick wanted me to act it out or something. The uh, way that, that I entertain myself is online. And I'll say uh, many things, and I'll talk about anything. You talk yeah. about yes. uh, shaving her, and maybe cutting her, and tasting her blood. Okay, well, oh, yeah, people So that's things. normal? Well, people do some things, man. You look thirsty. Drink some blood. Drink some blood. Hmm. I, I just... I, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I'm okay, no, come on. Do you feel that you have got a, a problem chatting online? Sort of, yeah. <laughs> so it's sort of like make-believe to you in some way? Yeah. Role-playing? Yeah, you know? Yeah, but she said she was 13. I don't know. I don't know. So if I wasn't here, and a 13-year-old girl was here, and she was willing to go along with your rape, yeah. what do you think would happen? On day one? On this, you know? Is this any way for a 29-year-old man to behave? No. What do you think should happen to you? <laughs> That's what happened. What do we have coming up right now? That's Get back here, motherfucker. That Get back here. He was charged with an attempted loot act. Born a child, he later pled no contest. 
What do we have coming up right now? Who's that? That's our avalanche. That's our 1230, Mike, 29 years old. We've always been aware that the men coming into our undercover houses could be dangerous. Now stay there. We don't want to send you out yet. We now see, this was the one I saw. They must have combined the two videos into one video. This was the video I thought the other one was. That's what the oops shit was. That's what this was. That was supposed to be this video. But as we set up our to catch a predator operation in Long Beach, California, the very first man who arrives has us especially worried. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. Here he comes. He's coming. Head to position three. 29 year old Michael Warren, an unemployed Wait. computer technician, uses the frightening screen name Can I Rape You Anally? <laughs> he thinks he's coming to meet a girl who said she was 13. Okay, open up your open up the door. What Warwicker apparently doesn't know is he's really been chatting with an adult decoy from Perverted Justice. That's an online watchdog group Dateline uses as a consultant to do what it normally does. Shout out to Frag. Shout out to Dale. Go into chat rooms, mostly on Yahoo and AOL, set up computer profiles, and in this case, pretend to be children under the age of 14 who are interested in sex. Okay, that's cool. In his online chat, Warwicker tells the decoy, maybe we should hook up, and says he would like to have anal sex with her. Mm. The decoy says, ouch, I think that would hurt <coughs> a lot. If he said, ouch, you fucking yeah, right, it's ouch. it's a good pain, you know. Now, Warwicker is at the door. Hi. With her. That the decoy said, says, ouch. ouch, I think that would <coughs> hurt a lot. Coy, maybe we should hook up, and says he would like to have anal sex with her. The decoy says, ouch, I think that would hurt a lot. <laughs> Warwicker You're responds, right, yeah, will. but it's a good pain, you know. Now, Warwicker is at the door. Hi, how you doing? Being met by a youngish-looking 18-year-old decoy oh, yeah, playing yeah. the girl who's supposed to be home alone. Can you sit down? And it's time for me to have a chat with him. We had a lot to talk about. Mm. Though my arrival doesn't seem to phase him one bit. This is punk, right? Yeah. What are you doing here? Hanging out. Hanging out. Yes. And I knew that this was a setup because this was too convenient for this. What was too convenient? A chat room and just uh, talking about everything that uh, she did. And how old was this so-called person we were talking to? She said she was 13, but... She said she was 13. And yeah, how old are you? Uh, I'm 29. And you thought it was okay to come over here and meet a 13-year-old girl at the age of 29? And hang out, yeah. So that's all you're going to do was hang out? That's what I, I told her, yes. Yeah. But remember, we have his chat log, where he writes... Ah, the chat log. I'm having a little bit of issues. Um, I don't know where my images are. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem, but it is. I'm going to need that. To someone who says she's a 13-year-old female, I like rape. She responds, <gasps> creepy. Worker explains right. that he doesn't really want to rape her, just rough sex. I'd want you to resist and pretend you didn't want it and stuff. What kind of a guy has a screen name, can I rape you anally? Um, I guess responses. Do you think rape is funny? No. Then why would you do this? It's just something that I like to put myself into that role and talk about, you know? Warwicker also asks online if he could tie the girl down while they're having sex. And it gets scarier when he goes on to add, I might want to cut you a little, suck on your blood, laugh out loud. A, a trait that, that, that I look for is, you know, they enjoy a, a, a little bit of pain here and there, you know? The, you've yeah. had girl friends who enjoy a little bit of pain. Yeah. Well, how many times have you had a conversation like this and actually met somebody to Never. fulfill this rape fantasy? No. 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 I just thought it'd be cool, you know, to hang out because I had thought it'd be cool to come over here way. after having a chat that went somewhat like this. So if I wanted to bend you over and just shove it in your <laughs> and it hurt pretty bad, you wouldn't do anything, would you? Yeah, I would scream and try to hit you. <laughs> well, you act like this is some big joke here. Well, sir, um, I... I mean, these are I your words, not mine. I'm not making this up, right? This is the stuff yes. you said. Yes. This guy is fucked. Correct. To somebody who said she was a 13-year-old girl? Yes. What do you do for a living? Um, actually, right now, I'm unemployed. Unemployed. Um, I got an, a, a small um, inheritance uh, a year ago. And sort hey, of, you better go drive a uh, milk truck. I took a truck. break, but I'm, I'm almost out of money now. 
time to get back to it's work. Back. Yeah, it's back to work. Walker yeah, tells back. me he's brought back. along a scary movie to watch with the girl, yeah. a video yeah. camera, and lubricant. We brought the Blair Witch Project too. Is this any way for a 29-year-old man to behave? No. You ever watch Dateline NBC? Um, sometimes. So. I'm Chris Hansen okay. with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults mm -hmm. who try to pick up young boys and girls online for sex. Mm -hmm. If there's anything else you want to tell us about why you're here and what you've been doing, we'd like to hear it. If not, you're clearly free to walk out the door you came in. And just outside, the Long Beach police are getting into position. Them boys in blue. Hands up in here. He is charged with an attempted lewd act upon a child. Under California law, attempting to have sex with someone under the age of 14 is a felony, punishable by up to four years in prison. Warker pleaded no contest. He's the first in a long line of men who will be arrested by the Long Beach Police Department over the next three days. Hell yeah. Hey, look at me. Look at me. There I go. Anyway. Do we even need to fucking say anything? We all know what this dude is. This is one, this is a, this is a nasty bastard. All right? He want to drink blood. He want to rape. This motherfucker, a nasty bastard. He don't deserve no Pepsi. That's why that motherfucker got that red drink. That off-brand bullshit. You think NBC shelled out for Hawaiian Punch? You got him fucked up. Mike Warker. Motherfucker. Ay, ay, ay. He definitely did it. Let me see. Let me see how long his chat log is. I, I don't want to read a chat log. I really don't. Can you hear the rain? The storm? The thunder? Oh. This gives me a good chance to talk about Hurricane Ida. Oh, man, that was the worst shit. Hurricane Ida was terrible. Look, there go the internet. There go the internet. All right, no chat log. 12 days, no electricity, no lights. Oh, that shit was terrible. Oh, that shit was bad. But I taught myself how to barbecue. So I got one good thing out of it. Now I'm a barbecue champion. I'm going to have the best barbecues in town. You best believe it. But Mike Worker, this motherfucker has serious, serious problems. Deep-rooted issues. That may be unfixable. His probability of attempting to do something like this again. A hundred percent. And maybe not even with a kid. But he'll definitely try to suck some blood out of some bitch. He'll definitely... He gonna... He, 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 he got some weird ass shit going. He got some weird ass shit cracking over there, man. I'm... Mike a kinky motherfucker. All right. Mike on a whole different level. You, you don't want to know what Mike doing in his bedroom. Mike the type motherfucker you find. You walk in his bedroom. His mom going to walk in his bedroom. And he going to find him. You know how they find people dead because they like suffocated themselves to masturbate or some shit like that that's the type of shit he, man mike mom gonna walk in on him dead from trying to master to suffocate and masturbate himself i don't know what the fuck that shit's called and i don't want to know what it's called but i think a few of you probably know what what the fuck i'm talking about that's the type of shit that mike workers on 
Would he have did it had there not been a decoy there? Probably. Probably. I don't think he would have got any blood. But I think he might have got some form of blood. Double entendre. Don't ask me how. Let's look at his demeanor. And you know, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. You know, like, say you didn't know nothing about none of this. Say none of this even happened. This is just a random video, and, and we're watching a, a documentary, and this guy is talking about, yeah, I found the, uh, I found the Blair Witch out there by the woods. You know, imagine he's just giving an interview about the Blair Witch. Look at him. He doesn't seem, you know, look, I mean, Chris, Chris looks more like an asshole than he does, than Mike does. But they hide it well. This creepy fucker. Hit it well. Behind this teddy bear exterior of his. Lies a dark individual. We need a thumbnail. That's our thumbnail. That's our fucking thumbnail. The thumbnail gods were looking down upon us today. But yeah, I'm not sure there's much more to say about this this gentleman. I think we've probably said, well, I've probably said all that could be said. So, I think I'm going to do what I always do when it's time to get the fuck out of here. And get the fuck up out of here. Let you get back to your day. Hope it's going good by the way. But what do you think about Mike Warker? I think he's probably in the top most fucked predators. Most fucked up predators out of all of them. He's up there. I don't think there's no rehabilitating him. Now, I don't know how far his problem was, or how deep-rooted his issue with, with underage women or whatever was, but he still had some fucked up fetishes either way whether they involved underage people or not and that shit i'm sure only worsened with age as he got older he found more shit that he was into he probably he probably cuts off pieces of skin and and eats it now i don't know what i don't want to know what he up to So I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. This was your boy, Atlantic City. I hope to catch you next time. Goodbye.